Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in my bathroom. I'm in a towel. We're gonna be talking about showering. I'm honestly not a huge fan of showering. Um, I'll just be real. I do it every day for the most part. I love products, but the whole like, I don't feel like being wet. But so many of you guys are super nosy. You wanna know what's in my shower? Where did I get my shower caddy? That's, to be honest, that's the weirdest question I get a lot. It's literally just a regular shower caddy, but I'll show you and I'm gonna reveal the answer. <laughs> but I get it. When I use the restroom at other people's places for the first time, I love taking a little peek behind the curtain, you know what I'm saying? I wanna know what kind of products they got going on. And I judge them based on it. I'll, I'm just gonna be real. Are you using a three-in-one? Do you got some cool, like, Aesop in there? Like, ooh, you're fancy. So here she is in all her glory. I'm gonna show you guys what I use, what's in my shower, give you like a little tour, and tell you what my routine is. Okay, so this is my shower. Nothing too crazy, you know, it's white, it's cute. It's pretty small. I've actually never taken a bath in here before. Um, yes, it's as small as it looks, so I have yet to give it a try, but one of these days I will. So this is the ever so famous shower caddy. Um, are you guys ready? I got it from Marshalls. Marshalls, you guys. Apparently, you guys like that it's white. I guess most of them are like silver. I guess I never really noticed that. Maybe that's why I liked it. But yeah, Marshalls. Because I don't really like taking a shower, it's kind of a nuisance to me. I like to make it as fun as I possibly can. And with that, I just fill it with products. Some I don't need, some I do. You know, I guess one could argue. One of my favorite things to do is to hang eucalyptus, fresh eucalyptus from my shower head. Aside from the fact that, my God, it just looks so beautiful. I feel like I'm showering in a rainforest. It also smells like I'm showering in a rainforest. When the steam hits the eucalyptus, it just fills the shower, and I'm transcended. Another thing that's been life-changing for me, I switched to bar soap. I've had it with shower gel, and I've had it with loofahs, okay? I just don't use them anymore, and frankly, I haven't missed them. It was like I cut my losses, I got rid of them, and I've never looked back. Instead, I have this. If I feel like using a mitt of some sort, it's like environmentally friendly or something, antibacterial. It looks better too, let's be honest. I don't discriminate against the bar soap I use. I just kind of get whatever looks good or smells good. I tend to not get like Dial or Dove or anything like that. Like I like to go to like specialty stores and get like an organic soap, you know, some that are like handmade or something with like oils. Okay, I, I know I just said, but I do use Dial also and hear me out. I know it looks nasty. I don't like having a ba yellow bar soap in my shower, but guess what? It is an antibacterial soap. And in the summer, I use them on my I use that on my armpits. Cuz you guys, you know what I'm, you know that you know why, okay? I don't need to explain it. I use it on my armpits and under my boobs because it gets kind of freaking sweaty in there, okay? But once this heat is done, psh, that's going in the trash and I'll never see it again until next year. Um for scrubs, oh, I'm so excited to talk about this. Scrubs, you guys, are everything, okay? If you wanna feel clean, if you wanna feel invigorated, if you want your skin to sparkle, you gotta be scrubbing your skin. And I've been using the Frank Body Coffee Scrub. I've been trying them out for a few weeks. I'm hooked, and I'm partnering with them for this video, this just smells good. Like it li literally smells like coffee. It, I mean, it is coffee. There's just literal coffee grounds in here, but it also has like sweet almond oil, vitamin E, you know, all that good stuff. So don't eat it. Don't like mix a scoop into your Keurig or whatever, but def use it on your skin. I've been loving using this, especially as the weather gets a bit cooler. You know, you get into that like cozy mood where you just want to like bundle up. You want the smell of coffee to fill your home and when it fills your shower, it just like wakes you up. I can't really do caffeine anymore, so caffeine on my skin is all I can handle. So what you do is this is just a loose scrub. You wanna get in the shower, wet your body, 
And then what I do is I turn off the water and then I just reach into the bag, grab handfuls and just start scrubbing it all over my body. Like every crevice, like my elbows, my knees, around my ankles, my arms where I get the bumps like on the back of my arms that like cure this is Polaris, whatever it's called, you know what I'm talking about. From sweating like in between my boobs, I get like clogged pores there. So I really go to town there. You wouldn't believe your skin after this scrub. The first time I ever used it, I was amazed. You're literally glowing. You have this like beautiful, even flush. It leaves like the tiniest bit of moisture left behind because of the oils in it. So I don't even feel like I need to hydrate afterwards. And over time, I've noticed just more even skin. I've noticed the bumps on my arms go away. The blemishes on my chest go away. And it's just such a treat to use because it just smells so nice and it feels really good. Look what I did. I'm wearing my slippers and my shower is wet and I'm getting muddy footprints everywhere. The things I do for content. So thanks Frank Body for sending me those, for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check them out, they're in the description. Highly, highly recommend. Another shower essential is my Billy Razor. Okay, you guys, Instagram ads work on me like you wouldn't believe. The amount of times I've purchased something because of an Instagram ad, I mean, I've lost count. I love their aesthetic, like it looks very, 80s very like dreamy so that's what initially drew me in also like in their ads they show women with body hair they show women of different sizes of different races and some of them have body hair because the realization is like yeah i may like to shave but i may not like to shave all the time and i may not like to shave every part of my body what i like to shave with is i use the glossier body hero this is my favorite i always have a backup of that it's just a really nice body cleanser and oil. It's really hydrating, it's really gentle. I've already talked about my shampoos, my hair masks, the Olaplex. Um, it's in the video up here if you wanna click that. I don't feel like I should reiterate that. I'll go move on to things I haven't talked about. This shampoo and conditioner, I've... Uh, okay, well here's the thing. The packaging's great. They look amazing. I purchased them on a whim just because of that and I thought they were gonna smell really good. I ordered them online. They're not bad. The thing is, is they're not bad. I'm not not enjoying them, but I'm kind of just, I don't care about them that much and I'm just trying to use them because I really wanna get the Davines Oi shampoo and conditioner again, um, which I also mentioned in my blonde hair video. But I refuse to clutter my shower because that gives me anxiety. It has to be simple and pretty and spa-like. So I'm just trying to use them. I kind of alternate between those and the Olaplex. I really just want to get the oil. It's so hydrating. So just resentfully using them up. I have a few cow shed products up here that are left over from when I went to London. I haven't used them in ages, but I refuse to get rid of them because they just bring me a warm memory of the time I spent there because all of the products in the hotel I stayed at were cow shed and I couldn't leave London without getting some. I don't use them that often. To be honest, like I'll be quite frank. Hey, Frank, <laughs> thanks for the sponsor. I'm not a huge fan of the actual products. Like I don't think they're that good, but they, the smell is on point, okay? And let's be honest, that's like 90% of the whole thing, okay? Um, so I just don't reach for them that often, but I won't get rid of them because the smell is great and it reminds me of a fun time. So that's my shower routine. When I get out, I do like to hydrate. I need to alternate between using my Epicurean Kukai, I don't know how to pronounce this, coconut moisturizer, or this uber fancy body oil by Demamiel Botanics. I don't know how to pronounce anything. Um, that's more like a body serum. So depending on like what I'm feeling. So that's my routine. Actually, usually I have like a robe on and like a turby towel and I'm like, I look like a gremlin or like an old grandma. But in this video, I'm like, oh, hair's pinned back. I got, I got my fluffy towel and like, I'm cute. But in reality, it's not always like that. But I hope you guys found this helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. Everything that I mentioned is listed in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what kind of video you'd like to see. You wanna know what's in my fridge? I'll show you. <laughs> Please don't ask me to do that. Okay, I'll see you in my next video.